Um, thank you guys so much for having me today. Um, please stop me at any time. I believe the, the phones are unmuted. And let me know if you guys have any questions about what we're presenting today. Um, my name is Natasha Sherman, and I will be walking you through um, a Live Health Online overview. We'll talk about um, all the services that are available through Live Health Online. Um, we'll focus primarily on um, our medical services. We'll talk about psychology. And then um, we'll spend a little bit of time on lactation um, support and some other services that we have available through Live Health Online as well. But again, if you guys have any questions, um, please stop me um, and ask them. We want this to be as interactive as possible. Um, I believe there is a chat function that you guys can type questions into as well. So if you want to use the chat function, you can use that and um, we can fill questions from there. Um, so with that, I'll go ahead and get started. Um, so Live Health Online um, is a two-way video technology that does offer um, access to board-certified medical doctors, um, as well as licensed therapists, um, psychologists, and psychiatrists. With the medical, um, you have access to doctors 24-7, 365 days a year. Um, that does include weekends and holidays. Um, that's the phenomenal part about Live Health Online. And you guys have probably heard about telemedicine. It's been all in the news um, since we have been dealing with COVID-19 and uh, or the coronavirus, um, depending on how you want to reference it. Um, we've been promoting telehealth, our president, our governors, um, even the doctors have been promoting members access care um, via telehealth to um, one, control the volume of patients in the ER, um, urgent care centers and in the doctor's offices um, to prevent the spread of different um, other conditions that members might have and to allow for time to maybe treat patients that have a higher severity of care that they need. So telehealth has been all the rave um, for the past couple of months. Um, so this is what we're talking about, telehealth, and your ability to be able to log onto your phone, log onto a tablet, log onto your computer, and have um, a two-way medical visit with a doctor. Um, also, um, the great thing about it is those doctors are able to write prescriptions and send them to the pharmacy um, of your choice. Um, and that's the great thing. As long as you're in the 50 continuous United States, you can have a visit and have a prescription sent to a pharmacy of your choice. And then the access to in-network licensed therapists, um, psychologists, and psychiatrists by appointment. Um, those appointments can be made seven days a week, including nights and weekends. Um, that's the great thing about it is that you are able to have those appointments um, nights and um, weekends. Um, We'll talk a little bit more about how you go through and schedule those appointments as we go throughout the, the next couple of slides. So accessing care, you're going to use your smartphone, um, a tablet, or a computer. Now, when you're using a smartphone or a tablet, you're going to download the free mobile device from either the App Store or the Google Play Store. So I do encourage you, if you're on the phone today, you have not downloaded the app, Take the opportunity um, and download the app while we're on the phone. That way I can walk you through how to create your account, answer any questions um, that you might have, okay? Um, and that allows for us to kind of get you set up smoothly and you're ready to go if you have not um, downloaded the app. I will, I will, I would like to take a poll. Hello, how many, this is Elizabeth. How, how many people yes. have already um, created an that. account on Live Health Online? Hello, if you have, I have. Let me mute. Uh oh, looks like someone. <laughs> someone is talking. Um, if you have already created an account, um, maybe use the chat box um, instead of all of us yelling at once. Use the chat box um, and let us know that if you have created an account. Um, let us know that and then we'll know how many people on the phone have created an account versus those that have not. So if you would use that chat box and just simply let us know if you have created an account or not. Um, and again, if you have not, now is the opportunity for you guys to go ahead and get your account created. 
So once you do create your account, you're going to have access to, again, Live Health Online Medical as well as psychology. Now, when we're talking about medical, here on the screen, you'll see some of the more common conditions that you can get treated through Live Health Online. Um, Live Health Online does provide treatment for acute medical needs. So nothing that's an emergency, right? We don't want you logging on if you have an emergency, if you have severe chest pain, um, shortness of breath, um, we want to make sure that you are able to log on, have those visits um, in the comfort of your home, keeping in mind that the doctors can prescribe prescriptions and send them to the pharmacy of your choice. Okay. Here, we like to use this screen because it really does illustrate, especially for our members that are on a high deductible health plan. If you're on a high deductible health plan, Life Health Online really, really does add a benefit um, to you because it's gonna save you immediate funds, right? As opposed to going to the emergency room or to the urgent care where it may cost you more money. Um, you can use Live Health Online at a cost of $59 um, for a medical visit. That's the total cost, right, if you have a high deductible health plan. Some of you may have a copay, um, which we do um, ask you guys to confirm your benefits. But for those of you that have a high deductible health plan, it's going to be much more cost effective for you guys to use Live Health Online over going to the emergency room or to the urgent care center. So we wanna make sure that you guys take advantage of Live Health Online because it's gonna be faster as well as more cost effective, okay? So on this screen, you'll see, if you go to the emergency room, and many of you may know this already, it's gonna be three or more hours in the emergency room, even if you have a minor condition. Um, it, it's going to also cost you, um, I'm going to go ahead and mute everyone's line just because I think it's a little black background noise in the back, and then I'll unmute them um, for questions that we may have. Um, in the emergency room, you'll see the average cost of a visit is going to be about $1,600. Um, and then in the urgent care, two plus hours, average cost of the visit is $147. And again, it's all relevant, all dependent upon what you're going in for. Whereas Live Health Online, we say you can have a visit in 10 minutes or less, and the total cost of the visit is $59, and that's if you're on a high deductible health plan, that's gonna go towards your deductible. Once you meet your deductible, it's gonna be covered at the coinsurance amount, okay? so. We'll use this. If you guys have a question, because I muted the lines, there is an option where you can raise your hand on the chat box. Do that and let us know if you have questions and then we'll open it up um, for you to have uh, answer your, ask your question or you can unmute yourself to ask any questions that you may have. Okay, one of the most critical um, things about using Life Health Online is creating your account before you get sick. Um, we want to make sure you get your account created before you get sick. So how do you create your account? Um, one of the ways is by downloading the free app that I mentioned. So again, if you're just joining us, we want you to download the free mobile app. Download that app because it's going to ensure that you have your account created and you're ready to go. If you, if, even if you download the app, a lot of people like to use the computer um, to create their account. You can use your computer to create your account. Um, you will simply do that by going to um, livehealthonline.com and selecting the option um, um, to sign up. You're going to select the sign up option that's in that upper right hand corner. Okay. Now, if you have dependents that are under 18, you're going to add those dependents to your account. Okay. They're not going to create their own account. Any dependents that's um, children that be, may be away at college, um, any children that's still on your medical plan um, because they can stay on until they're 26, um, or spouses, right? They're gonna go in and create their own account, okay? Here you're gonna see all the data elements you need to create your account. One of the most important pieces of information, if you're covered, under the um, Anthem plan, you're gonna put in your insurance ID number that's on your 
ID card that you get from Anthem, okay? If you're not covered, you do have the opportunity to um, select medical benefits um, through Anthem. But for those of you that are currently covered, you're gonna make sure that you use your insurance card and make sure that you put in your ID number um, so that you can create your account and it is attached to your medical benefits. Also guys, make sure when you do create your account that you put in the first name and last name as it appears on your Anthem um, medical ID card. Very important that it matches, okay? And I say that because some people, they, you know, their name is William, but they go by Bill. Well, I'm gonna make sure if my name is William on my ID card that I put William in the system and not Bill, um, because we need to make sure all your information matches what's in the system. Now I'm going to pause there and unmute everyone and see if you guys have any questions. Any questions on the line? No questions? Okay. Um, anyone out there already create an account before and did you have any issues? Did you find it to be easy? Hey, Natasha, this is Tawny. Um, could you talk a little bit about, and I'm sure I'm mo mostly just naive here, but a little bit about uh, telehealth as a whole, um, why it's so important right now, and um, just kind of, uh, I've never had an experience with it, so how does it normally work? Yeah, so we're about to get into what a visit looks like um, in the next section, um, so I'll go over that as well, okay? So when using telehealth, um, it's totally easy. When I tell you it's so easy, um, that's why we ask that you create your account first, um, because it does give you a good kind of experience on how to use the app. I will tell you that 70% of the visits that we have come through the mobile device. So 70% of the individuals that are having a visit um, come through the mobile device, um, because who doesn't have their phone with them almost 24 seven, right? So using your phone to have a visit is one of the more popular ways of accessing care. Um, telehealth is important, as I mentioned earlier, right? We want you guys to, if you can, not go to the urgent care center because it's gonna cost you more. You know, as I illustrated on the screen, where you can spend $1,600 on an emergency room visit and $147 on an urgent care visit. Whereas Live Health Online total cost is $59. And if you have a copay, PCP copay on your plan, you're paying that PCP copay amount, which is gonna be much cheaper than going to the urgent care or the emergency room. Also, um, I mentioned another one of the advantages. It's 24 seven, right? You have 24 seven access to medical doctors. So if you're not feeling well at 2 a.m. in the morning, you're not feeling well on the weekend, you're not feeling well on a holiday, you can pick up your phone, click on Live Health Online, which I'm gonna show you in the next couple of screens, and have a medical visit. Okay, that is why it's so important to download it. That's why it's so important in this day and time when we're dealing with COVID, we're dealing with coronavirus, and people are, a lot of people are still at home. Um, and, you know, we're saying, you know, stay at home, stay away from a lot of people. The last thing a lot of people want to do is to go into the urgent care centers for some of those smaller acute medical needs. Um, so for things like fever, things like um, a rash, um, you know, my daughter was playing outside, right? Because right, we're in our yard, she's playing. She got a host um, to some poison ivy. We were able to quickly log on, show the doctor via the video on our phone, her rash and had an ointment sent to the pharmacy in less than 10 minutes for her poison ivy, right? So you're out and about in your yard, you're working in your yard. You're, if you're like me, I just planted tons of rose bushes in my front yard, things that I never had time to do, um, working in the backyard. You get a host of poison ivy, poison oak, and you get a rash. How phenomenal is it to not have to go into the urgent care center for something that small um, when you can just pick up your phone, choose a doctor, and have a medical visit? Okay. Any other questions before we move on? 
Has anyone ever used Life Health Online before or any other telehealth um, kind of app to have a medical visit? I know a lot of primary care physicians. My sister is a pediatrician and she has moved to seeing a lot of her patients, um, not only in the office, her office is still open, but she is also seeing her patients through two-way video visit. Um, so a lot of the primary care physicians are moving towards that as well. My dad had um, open heart surgery um, in March, right before everything kind of shut down. And all of his follow-up visits um, with his doctor was done via two-way video um, at home. So that was his introduction to, to um, telemedicine. So telemedicine is showcasing itself in a lot of different um, arenas. Um, a lot of different doctors are considering it to make sure that they are able to continue treating their patients. So I don't know if any of you on the phone have had an experience with telemedicine in that, um, in that way or not lately um, as well. So Life Health Online has a couple of different practices when you log in. You're gonna see Life Health Online Medical. You'll see Life Health Online Kids. You'll see Life Health Online Allergy. Those first three that you'll see when you log in are our medical practices. Now, what we did, um, you're probably like, why do you have three different medical practices? Um, well, we have three different medical practices simply because the, we wanted it to be very easy for people to find the doctors that they needed quickly. So if I'm dealing with an allergy issue, I can quickly click on Life Health Online Allergy and see doctors that have a specialization in treating patients with allergy issues. So if I click there, all the doctors in that practice are gonna have a specialization in treating allergy issues. Also in that practice, you're able to um, get coupons for different allergy medications at the end of your visit as well. So we have a nice relationship with Johnson & Johnson where um, they are able to provide um, different coupons on different allergy medications that the member may be prescribed. Life Health Online Kids is just that. That is where you can log into if you're having a visit for someone that is under the age of 18. That is where we put all of the doctors that treat children under the age of 18. So if you have your own kids or if you're taking care of your grandkids, they're visiting and they don't feel well, you can log into Life Health Online have a visit with the grandkids and click on um, Life Health Online Kids. So really nice, um, convenient way to quickly access the doctors that have specialization in certain areas. Now, you'll also see psychology um, and psych psychiatry on the page. Um, we pride ourselves in making sure that the members have access to psychologists and therapists. And I'm gonna dig into that a little deeper in the next couple of screens. But just to show you how easy it is to have a visit, when you log in, you're gonna click on the practice that you want to engage with. And in this case, we're looking at medical. Here, you're gonna choose the medical doctor um, that you want to see. What we've done to make it easy and to kind of ease people into using Live Health Online is we put profiles up of each one of the doctors. You'll have a picture of them. You'll see their, their background information, where they went to school, how many years of experience they have. A lot of information on that doctor is given to you so that you can make an informed choice on which doctor you want to best treat you, right? It's, I say it's more information than we ever get when we go into the actual doctor's office. Um, knowing what school they went to, how many years they've been practicing, um, where they did their residency, their specialization of care, all of that is given to you up front so that you can choose the doctor that you want to see. Next, you're going to choose um, who the visit is for and then the reason for your visit, right? We're going to put in, why are you having this visit today? So that the doctor will know exactly what you're coming in for. Then Similar to in the brick and mortar setting where you have to complete that medical history questionnaire, um, you know, how, how many allergies do you have? What allergies do you have to medications? You know, are you currently dealing with blood pressure issues? You're going to tell the doctor all of that information. Now, this page is completely optional. However, 
I encourage everyone to complete it because it just gives that doctor more information to better treat you. So we wanna make sure the doctor has that information, but this page is completely optional. Next, you're gonna select the pharmacy that you want your prescription to go to. Keep it in mind, guys, that you can have a visit anywhere in the 50 United States. So you wanna make sure if you're traveling on vacation, if you're visiting family, if you're traveling for work, and a condition presents itself where you need to use Live Health Online, that you consider you know, using Live Health Online um, because it's gonna save you much more money than going to an urgent care center in that particular area. Okay. So next, I wanna quickly walk you through the psychology component. Um, our psychology component is really, really popular. Um, we are at home, and I was talking to someone earlier. It's great to be with your family. It is so awesome, so amazing. However, it can be extremely stressful, not only for you, but for the kids, for the husband, for the wife, to be confined um, to an area, you know, for a long period of time. And for someone to tell you, you can't go out, you can't go here, you can't go to dinner, can't go to the parks like you used to. That's extremely stressful and it can put a lot on an entire family. So Live Health Online Psychology is a great resource. Um, you have seven days a week where you can schedule visits. Um, in some instances, you're able to get same day appointments. It truly depends on the availability. But our goal is to get you guys in front of a psychologist or a therapist in four days or less. So I'm gonna walk you through how you can go on there and schedule your appointment, but it's so easy. Um, on average, individuals that connect with a psychologist or a therapist, they have about seven visits or more. And the beauty of Live Health Online Psychology is that it does allow for you to have a visit with a doctor or I mean, with a therapist or a psychologist in the comfort and privacy of your home. So you're not, you don't have to leave home. Um, the visits are 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. coast to coast. So really flexible hours. You do have the availability of scheduling visits on the weekend and on holidays. So really, really flexible um, times there. Um, again, private and convenient is what we promote when we talk about Live Health Online Psychology. Now, here you'll see some of the more common conditions that the psychologists and the therapists are going to treat for. I just took a drink of water. Here you'll see stress-related issues, anxiety, depression, oh my goodness, relationship and parenting issues. Um, if you have kids at home or if you're home with your spouse like all day now, you know, it, it may be that you need to talk to someone to kind of figure out how to manage being, you know, together, you know, 24-7. Um, grief due to the loss of a loved one. Um, individuals may have, you know, lost individuals during this time. And, you know, it, the dynamic of funerals is very different now. So being able to talk to someone about how you're feeling about that is so important and so critical. Um, panic attacks and coping with an illness. So anyone that may have an illness, it brings a lot of stress to the family. Um, so being able to talk to someone is going to be really, 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 really critical. And um, Life Health Online Psychology does provide that access for you guys to be able to log on. And I can't stress this anymore. Convenience, comfort, privacy of your home. Um, and if you're in your home, right, and it's a ton of people in there, in your car, um, to sit outside in the car. I, I've many of times taken just a drive just to kind of get away. Um, so being able to connect um, without having to go into an actual office is really the point here. Um, and making sure that you guys have access to care um, seven days a week is also important. So I'm going to pause there and see if we have any questions before I move on to the next couple of slides. Any questions or comments? Nope, okay, so we'll continue on. I'll leave the lines unmuted for a while just to see if you guys have any questions. 
So psychiatry. So unlike psychology, right, psychologists um, and therapists are not able to prescribe prescriptions because they're not medical doctors. So prescriptions can't be prescribed by them. However, we do have Life Health Online psychiatry that does give our patients access to um, medical doctors that are psychiatrists and they're able to schedule, I mean, they're able to prescribe medication, okay? Um, some of the conditions that they're able to treat for, bipolar disorder, um, post-traumatic stress, panic attacks, depression, anxiety. Again, guys, it is so wonderful to be able to have access via telehealth, telebehavioral health is what we call this, so that you can have a visit, again, in the comfort and privacy of your home, not really neglecting the care that you need because you can't get into a brick and mortar center, um, or guess what, it can't get an appointment. Now, unlike psychology, where it's four days or less, our psychiatrist is 14 days or less. That's where we, we say, we're gonna get you in front of a psychiatrist in 14 days or less. Again, you can self-schedule those appointments um, through Live Health Online, just as you would um, your psychologist. And I'll show you that as well. Here, if you guys have access to the Anthem EAP program, oh my goodness, this is probably one of my favorite integrations. You're able to use your EAP visits um, on Life Health Online. So if you guys have access to the Anthem EAP, you will call the Anthem EAP line, um, speak with the representative, you'll go through that normal process. If your condition meets one of the requirements or one of the things that says you can have your visit through Life Health Online, the representative will offer that at Life Health Online as an option for treatment, um, and then they'll work with you to help you set up your appointment through Live Health Online. Now, because you're using your EAP benefits, the cost of the visit is going to be zero dollars, and that it'll be zero dollars for the amount of visits that you have covered under your plan. Now, why is this important? It's important one because you're getting your free. EAP visits that you're able to utilize through Live Health Online from the comfort of your home, privacy of your home, convenience of your home, not having to go into a brick and mortar setting. Two, once you exhaust your EAP visits, you will then be able to visit with that same psychologist, same therapist, now under your medical benefits, where you would pay the um, applicable copay for that visit. So this integration really allows for our members to be able to continue care with the same therapist without interruption. So that's the nice part about using your EAP benefits um, through Live Health Online. So that was a lot there. Any questions on the EAP um, Live Health Online integration? Hey, Natasha, it's Angie. Hello. So if somebody needed to make a visit or an appointment with a, with a psychologist or psychiatrist, I know you said typically four days, I guess, for the psychologist. Is that the same for the psychiatrist or does everybody differ? Just yes, curious. so psychiatrists are 14 days or less. So our goal is to get you in front of them in 14 days or less. Now, before we conclude, I'm going to try to go to the website and show you guys the actual website so you can see it live and in person. Um, but it could be some instances, Angie, where even in the four days or less or the 14 days or less situation that a member could log on in the morning and have an appointment that same day. It really depends on the availability um, of the therapist and psychologist in that area. But our goal is four days or less on psychologists and 14 days or less on psychiatry. That's the, the okay. goal is to make sure it's no longer than that. Gotcha. Sorry, I'm having trouble. I'm watching on my phone and my it keeps going out. So now my graphics are back up. So I apologize. I asked a question oh, no. on your side. <laughs> no, it's no problem. You know, someone might have missed that. So no, no, no. Don't worry. I'm so when you, when you go, oh, go ahead. Was there another question? Yes, this is Sherry. Hi. Um, my question is, if you set up um, 
through maybe through EAP, maybe not. But if you set up an appointment with a psychologist um, and you're going through the various meetings, what have you, and um, you know it's determined to that maybe you need to switch to a psychiatrist because there's going to be a medication route, what have you. Um, do they transfer all of the documents and notes over or are you literally starting from scratch? No, everything is transferred over. So you don't have, you don't start from scratch. Everything is kept into the Live Health Online system. It doesn't leave the Live Health Online system. It stays in the system. Um, but everything will transfer over because it's in that member's profile. Gotcha. And then the other question that I have is um, just related to um, PPI and the fact that, you know, we're entering medical data and what have you into the system. Can you talk a little bit about the um, data security? Yes. Yeah, so the good thing about um, Live Health Online is that nothing leaves the system um, unless the member um, pushes it out. So all of the data that's in the system stays there. Um, but if the member wanted to share it with another doctor, they wanted to share it with um, another psychologist, another therapist, they would have to download um, their profile and the doctor notes, the psychologist notes, the therapist notes, they would have to either download them, print them off, or they would have to send them via secure email to themselves or whomever they wish to have them. So nothing is shared out externally from the Live Health Online system unless the member um, takes that action to do so. Now, when it comes to um, the, the security features of the system, there's a detailed security, <clears throat> excuse me, detailed security protocol that's listed on the website that members can read. And before they actually proceed with the visit, we do present that to them for them to read and sign off on. I hope that helps um, with that question. Yes, thank you. Okay, any other questions? Okay. So here on the page, you're gonna see the option for psychology, EAP, and psychiatry. Now the EAP practice will come up on your page if you have called EAP to utilize your free EAP visits. Otherwise, you won't see that option on your page. You'll just see psychology and psychiatry. Now, just like medical, um, you'll, oh, excuse me, I'm take a drink of water. Give me one second. Just like medical, you have the option of looking at each one of the therapists and the psychologist profiles um, to choose the one that you're, you feel is best able to treat you. Now, you'll see on this particular therapist profile, she has a blue bar across her picture that says treats ages 10 and above. We do have therapists um, that will treat children or youth or adolescents 10 and above. And how you will know them is simply by looking um, for the, the band that is on this um, therapist picture that says treats 10 and above. And that will let you know if they treat children 10 and older. Um, so with psychology and with psychiatry, children 10 and above can have a visit. With psychiatry, um, it has to be 18 and over. Once, the, um, once you do choose the therapist, psychologist, or psychiatrist that you want to see, you can schedule your appointment um, by looking at their calendar, and it's really easy. Um, you're able to look for all the green, <laughs> and that, that gives you um, the option of knowing which days are currently available. So once you look at the calendar, all the green highlighted boxes shows the therapist availability, and you'll simply choose based on the day and time that you feel works best for you. 
once you do that, you'll go through and just tell um, the system who the visit is for. Is it for yourself or a dependent um, under um, 18? Once you do that, you're going to get a confirmation that you have a, a scheduled appointment coming up. Now, full disclaimer, guys, there is a $25 cancellation fee if you don't cancel your appointment greater than 24 hours in advance. Um, that will be charged to the card that you have to put into the system. And you can use a credit card, a debit card, or a gift card to pay for the visit. Um, but you will have to put a form of payment in the system to schedule your visit. Um, and if there, if you don't cancel within 24 hours or more, you will be charged $25 for a cancellation fee. Now, you will also, at this time, get an email confirmation confirming that your appointment has been scheduled. Also, in that little box that has the 15th on it, up, in the up on the left-hand screen, that's your um, calendar. You'll get um, also a notification within your Live Health Online account confirming your account, um, I mean, sorry, confirming your appointment within your account. If you have a cell phone number on file, you'll get a text message <laughs> confirming your appointment as well. So we're confirming that multiple ways. Um, so you're going to get an email, a text message, and it's going to be put into your Live Health Online account to let you know that your appointment has been scheduled. Now, if you want to engage and have your appointment on your phone, <laughs> you're going to get a reminder about 15 minutes before your appointment starts. And you're able to click on that link within your phone to start your visit. And it'll take you directly into your Live Health Online account. Um, so you can have your visit on your phone if you want it by clicking on that reminder link that's going to be text to you. Or if you want to have it on your desktop computer, you're also going to get that same reminder 15 minutes before your appointment starts. Um, and you can click on that link that will take you directly in to your appointment. Okay. Now, if you don't, I'm going to um, go to, I'm going to go to the Live Health Online page to show you guys that, that as well. If you don't um, go into your appointment within 15 minutes, so you have 15 minutes um, after the scheduled time of your appointment. If you don't log in within that 15 minutes, um, then your appointment will cancel. So really important that you go um, into that appointment um, within that 15 minute time period or your appointment will be canceled. Okay. Can you guys see my um, computer screen? It shows the Live Health Online page. Uh oh, I'm sorry. I need to unmute you guys. <laughs> Can you see my the Life Health Online website on my page now? I can see it. Okay, awesome. I want to actually show you guys the web page um, because I want to show you how easy it is to log in. So I logged in because I had my email address and everything saved. So once I log in, this is actually the Life Health Online page, and all these different tiles that you see shows you the different practices that you have available to you. So if you come down here, you have the psychology, the EAP, the psychiatry. Um, also, one that I did not mention is Cuidado Medical. That's our Spanish um, application. So just like the regular medical practice, but all we did here was put all the Spanish-speaking doctors in one place, making it easy for um, our Spanish-speaking members to access care. Now up here, because you guys are in Kentucky, I'm gonna change it to Kentucky. And what it's doing is it's pulling up all the doctors, all the therapists that are in Kentucky, okay? You'll also see some other practices have came up now, Christ Hospital and then the Cleveland Clinic. These are medical practices that you guys can choose to have a visit in and it's the same cost. So it's no different cost to use um, Christ Hospital providers or Cleveland Clinic. Just gives you an expanded network of doctors to choose from. So I wanna show you simply by clicking on schedule an appointment. This is what you'll see when you log into the page. So live and in action. You can choose by date or you can choose by provider. So if I choose by date, as I mentioned earlier, right? I said four days or less is our goal. But as you can see, based on all this green, 
I can have an appointment. Let me see what's today. I can have an appointment today if I wanted to. Is today Tuesday? No, today's Wednesday. It's today's Wednesday. <laughs> No, that's June. I'm sorry. June 2nd uh, is, is the first available here. Um, June 2nd. So you'll see here, all the green shows you everything that's available. So I can go here and I can simply click on this therapist. I can view their profile, read up on them, and I can hit schedule my appointment. Okay, I don't want that provider. I can go back out here view profile, read up on this doctor's profile. You see here it says specializes in ADHD, child behavioral problems, depression, anxiety. So really gives you a nice background of the doctors and their specialization um, of treatment so that you can make the best decision on which provider you want to choose. Um, you can also look at a different day and it'll bring up additional providers. So now we have one additional provider that's available on the third. Again, looking at the doctor's profile to determine um, if you want to choose this doctor to treat you. Here you'll see this doctor has military um, experience treating PTSD, anxiety, depression, sexual concerns, LGBTQ, relationship concerns. So we make sure the doctor puts an expansive listing of their background to make it really easy for the members to choose um, the provider that they want to see, okay? Any other sections you guys wanna see before um, we open it up for additional questions? Um, was anyone able to create their account while we're while we were on the line? Anyone able to create their account? Okay. Nope. Any um, additional questions um, for from anyone out there? Okay. Did you guys find this to be helpful? Give you a little more insight on telemedicine? I did, Natasha. I, I downloaded the app a few weeks ago and didn't really know how to navigate or what to do with it. So this was very helpful for me. So thank you. Awesome. And that's, that's the purpose to kind of give you a little more comfort level. It's one thing for someone to tell you to download the app, but then you say, then what? <laughs> so hopefully um, this gave you guys a little more comfort level. Um, how about anyone? Does anyone think they'll use, um, use Live Health Online, right? Um, for a condition if it presents itself. Do you feel more comfortable possibly using it? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I will for sure. Oh, it's a lot okay. easier and cheaper. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, I think um, I might too. That, sorry, this is Tawny. Um, I, it's always kind of been something my friends have been talking about lately, um, which is weird to say, but they're always kind of like, yeah, I'm stressed out at home right now and I just needed to talk to somebody. So a lot more of them have been telling me about it. And now that it looks less foreign and intimidating I might um forgive me if you mention this but uh is it pretty popular to have your insurance cover this yes um if most of the time if, if a member has anthem it's automatically um usually included so yes insurance usually does cover um telemedicine specifically live health online is part of anthem's benefits so it's an add-on that we offer to our members. Hey, Natasha, hey, if anybody's out here that... Uh-oh. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Go, Angie. No, I was just going to say, if anybody on here doesn't have or participate in KYCPA's health plan, can you just let them know how to reach out? Yes, yes. Hold on one second. Go ahead. Does someone else have a question while I pull that up? <laughs> yeah, Natasha, it's Karen Hall. All of the groups that belong to the Association Health Plan have access to our EAP program. And if they call EAP, 
to get an appointment with a psychiatrist or a therapist, how, and you may have already said this, and I'm sorry if you did, but how is that charge taken off? Are they given a coupon code to use, or how does that work? Yes, so when they call EAP, so how, if you want to use your EAP benefits, and this is really important process, right? So if a member, you guys all have EAP, right? As just mentioned. So it is really critical that if you're thinking about having a psychology visit, always call EAP first, okay? Always start with your EAP. If you think psychology, think EAP immediately um, because the EAP is integrated. So what you're gonna get is a coupon code. And that coupon code is going to have logic built into it that's going to tell the system how many free visits you should have because you have EAP, okay? So it's important to call your EAP um, hotline. And I don't know if we want to give out that number here um, or put it in the chat box for everyone. Um, I think Diane is on, um, and maybe we can give that out to everyone in case they don't have it. But we want to make sure you guys call EAP first because you're going to get a coupon code that's going to have the logic built into it that's going to tell the system how many free visits you should have. So very important. If you think psychology, think EAP um, so that you can take advantage of those free visits. Um, and then, again, the beauty of it is that once you do exhaust the free visits, you can still continue your visits with the same therapist, same psychologist, through Live Health Online Psychology covered under the medical plan now. So really important that you do do that. And Natasha, this is Diane. I, I am on. I do not have their specific EAP number uh, handy, but we will get it and make sure that we send that out afterwards. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I have it. I'm actually pulling okay. up their brochure right now. Oh, okay. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. For those of you that are not covered under the Anthem plan, you do want to reach out to Assured Partners, okay? And it's Lane. I'm going to give you, I'm going to probably type it in the box too, just in case. I don't want to um, want you guys to transpose any, any numbers or letters. But you're going to reach out to Assured Partners um, so that you can get signed up with Anthem if you're not currently signed up. We want you guys to get signed up because this is part of your Anthem benefits. Um, as mentioned, you also get the EAP with the free visits. And there's so much more that goes with EAP, right? Um, but Lane's number is 502-259-9211. Again, that's Lane, L-A-N-E. Last name is spelled H E T T I C H at Assured Partners. And her phone number again is 502 259 9211. Okay, so you're going to call Lane to get registered. Um, get signed up with Anthem if you're not signed up with Anthem so you can have access to all this wonderful stuff. And just in case anyone needs the number, if you're already a member, the number for Anthem EAP for you guys is 1-800-865-1044. Thank you, Karen. Anytime. Okay, um, I don't know if there's any other questions, but I hope everyone um, found this to be helpful. Um, also, you know, please consider taking a look around the website, the, the app. Um, there is some awesome, if I go back to the homepage of Live Health Online, let's see. There's some awesome videos out here, guys, that will kind of give you a nice overview of Live Health Online, see how online medical works. Also, there's psychology videos. So it gives you another nice one to two minute videos on how the doctors treat patients. Um, so it gives you nice information on every area um, of Live Health Online. 
So take a look at that. Um, it's on the home page. Really nice videos. Probably about 10 to 15 videos out there. And we do update them over time. Um, so take a look around there. Um, also, also gives you the, the types of conditions that are treated. So if you ever have a question on that. And then one other thing, we have a 24-7 customer support line. Um, so if at any time you have questions, you have concerns, you don't know how to use the website, you don't know how to use the app, you can call our 24-7 customer support line. And I'm going to pull it up and just leave it here on the bottom. So right here is the number 24-7 support. You can call that number and there's representatives available 24-7 to kind of help answer any questions you have about the tool, am I being charged right, you know, anything, you can ask them and they'll be able to help you. Okay, also follow us on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and all those other social media sites. Um, we're out there as well. Okay, that's all that I have um, today, unless anyone has any other questions for me. Thank you, Natasha. This was very helpful. You're welcome.